Hello guys, welcome to our mathematics class with Philippine Organization of Mentors in Mathematics or POMI. Our lesson for today is about solving quadratic equations by using the squared property. If we have the perfect square in one side and real numbers in the other side, so all we have to do is to take the square root of both sides of the equations. And don't forget to indicate the plus or minus sign before the radical sign in the right side and solve for the value of x. And that will be the solution set. All right, so are you ready? Let's go. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is Sir Ricky with Philippine Organization of Mentors in Mathematics. Today, we will be discussing on how to solve quadratic equations by using the square root property. Let us define the square root property. Let k is equal to real numbers. If x squared is equal to k, then x is equal to plus minus the square root of k. Take note that uh, the value of k here is any real number. And we have um, the quadratic equations x squared is equal to k, wherein x squared is a perfect square. All we have to do is to take the square root of x squared and also the square root of k and then solve for the solution set. Okay, solve x squared is equal to 100. To solve for the value of x, all we have to do is to apply the square root property. We will take the square root of both sides of an equation. So we have the square root of x squared is equal to plus minus the square root of 100. So the square and square root is cancelled. So we have x is equal to plus minus 10 because the square root of 100 is 10. So the solution set would be x is equal to 10 and x is equal to negative 10. To find out if the solution set is correct, then we will have to plug in these values into our original equation, which is x squared is equal to 100. Let's say x is equal to 10. 10 squared is equal to 100. That's correct. Let's say x is equal to negative 10. Negative 10 squared is equal to 100. So meaning solution set is correct. Let's go to example number 2. Solve 2x squared minus 1 is equal to 11. So all we have to do is to isolate um, the x squared term. So we're going to add both sides of an equation by positive 1. So 2x squared minus 1 plus 1 is equal to 11 plus 1. Simplify, we have 2x squared is equal to 12. Now we're going to isolate x squared by di dividing both sides of an equation by equation by 2. So we have 2x squared over 2 is equal to 12 over 2. So by cancellation, cancel 2. So we have x squared is equal to 12 divided by 2, that's 6. Uh, this time, we'll have to take the square root of both sides. So the square root of x squared is equal to plus minus the square root of 6. Then we'll have to cancel the square root and square. So we will have x is equal to plus minus the square root of 6. Therefore, our solution set would be x is equal to the square root of 6 and x is equal to negative the square root of 6. Alright, so I think that's clear. Let's go to another example. Solve. Quantity x minus 3 quantity squared is equal to negative 8. Notice that um, this is now a perfect square. And then it is equal to negative 8. So all we have to do is to apply the squared property. We'll take the square root of both sides of the equation. So the square root of quantity x minus 3 squared is equal to plus minus the square root of negative 8. So we'll have to cancel the radical sign and square. So you have x minus 3 is equal to plus minus the square root of negative 8. In real numbers, this is undefined because there is no such thing as negative inside the square root sign. So all we have to do, um, 
we will be expecting uh, what we call complex number or imaginary solution. Alright? So, we, we want to isolate x by adding both sides of an equation by 3. So, we have x minus 3 plus 3 is equal to 3 plus the square root of negative 8. Simplify. And by the way, in a complex number or imaginary number, i squared is equal to negative 1. Alright? So, this is now x is equal to 3 plus minus the square root of negative 8. We will factor negative 8 by 8 and negative 1 because we will be substituting negative 1 by i squared. Alright? So, x is equal to 3 plus minus the square root of 8 i squared. There's no negative anymore. So, we're going to factor 8 i squared such that one factor is a perfect square. So, we have x is equal to 3 plus minus the square root of 4 i squared times 2 because when you multiply this 2, so that's 8 i squared. Okay? So, to simplify, we have 3 plus minus uh, 4 i squared, the square root of 4 i squared is 2 i times the square root of 2. So, this is now our solution set. Okay? x is equal to 3 plus 2 i, the square root of 2, and x is equal to 3 minus 2 i, the square root of so, we have two imaginary solutions for these quadratic equations. Alright? Let's go to the fourth example. Okay. Solve x squared minus 8x plus 16 is equal to 0. Notice that uh, this in the form of ax squared plus bx plus c. Um, and by the way, can we still apply the squared property in this case? Because uh, the value of b is negative 8. The answer is yes. Because this is a perfect square trinomial. So, we have x minus 4 times x minus 4 is equal to 0. And also, this is equal to x minus 4 squared is equal to 0. Now, we are going to apply the squared property. So, the square root of x minus 4 squared is equal to plus minus the square root of 0. And square root of 0 is uh, definitely 0. So, this is now equal to x minus 4 is equal to 0. And solve for x, uh, of course, we're going to add both sides of an equation by 4. x minus 4 plus 4 is equal to 0 plus 4. So, x now, our solution set would be x is equal to 4 of multiplicity 2. Alright, so this is the solution for this quadratic equation by using the square root property. To summarize, the square root property states that if we have an equation with a perfect square in one side and a number on the other side, then we can take the square root of both sides and add a plus or minus sign to the side with the number and solve the equation. So, Thank you for watching. I hope if you like the video, you can subscribe to our channel, the Philippine Organization of Mentors in Mathematics, or follow me. See you guys!